Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Metal Magdalene with Jet right here on Metal Messiah Radio. Today, we are happy to have with us back on the show, Peter of Vader. Welcome back to the show. Hello, everybody. So, Peter, Vader's been around, oh my God, like 37 years <laughs> now. Did you ever think, when you first started this band, that you would still be doing this some almost 40 years later? Get out of here, of course. <laughs> and, uh, you know, when I started, so actually I was like a teenage guy, and I thought, like, after I turned 30, I'm going to die probably. I'll be that old. So, and, uh, of course, uh, since we started, so we were just fans, you know, that wanted to do a little bit more than just listening to metal. And, uh, you know, we started, of course, uh, with some some covers, you know, some jamming together, you know, then some first songs we created, you know, some first local shows we did. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, right after a few years, which was actually almost 10 years, <laughs> so uh, we had the first album uh, recorded. But the good thing was, uh, not just for Vader, but also for the whole Polish scene, if not even the Poland as a country, that we signed a deal with very popular back then, uh, uh, extreme metal uh, mm -hmm. record company, which was Eric Records. So they had so many like iconic bands, you know, playing extreme metal. Um, mentioned just few like Nate and Death, Morbid Angel, Bonfire, Carcass, Entombed, and many, many more. And to be among those guys, you know, uh, under the wings of Eric Records was wow, was big deal for us, you know, and uh, so we never ever expected that something like that was going to happen, you know, and after we signed a deal and after we released the first album, uh, late 92, it was it, I remember good, <laughs> and then it was the first touring, of course, like we, we visited the US for the first time in 93, and that was a good time, we spent almost two months together with Dayside, Suffocation, Dismember, yeah. that was really, really good shows, and, and a good opportunity for us as a new new band, you know, we are for the first time in the US just to show up for that good crowd, you know. And uh, everything started back then, you know, and uh, of course, like, we are filled with hope, you know, after everything started, but it took another five, six, maybe seven years uh, until we decided to uh, become a professional death metal band <laughs> and uh, just focus totally on the music and stay with music only, you know. So the way was long and uh, not easy, but, you know, that is life chosen by me, actually. And uh, the passion was high enough just to destroy all the problems in the way, <laughs> if I can say so. Of course. You know, now, before this you know, whole virus crisis hit, uh, you guys were able to make it through your U.S. tour. So how did that tour go? Pretty good. You know, we, it, was all, it was all around three years. We, we did not play in U.S., Canada. So uh, finally, uh, we started the cooperation with uh, Continental Concerts. So that was the first tour made together. And it was more than good, you know, really, really uh, the reaction. So we, we had just 23 shows. Uh, we played across the continent mm -hmm. and uh, good company, you know. So uh, it was a really good night. Every every evening, each evening was really, really crazy. Some of them even more <laughs> crazy than I expected. So uh, there was really good comeback after those few years. And uh, we planned another one uh, to come back with a new album. You know, because we played that in February, so it was like far before mm -hmm. the new, new album was done, but was not yet, you know, released. So that was, that wouldn't be not actually smart just to play a new album, if nobody knows that yet. <laughs> so we, we called that one a Nivisari just to bring back some, uh, some uh, important albums for Vader, actually 2020, that's the year, like three of them. Uh, three of them have uh, anniversaries, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, of course, we also played that new song that was released as a first single, the opening track from the new album, Shock and All. Mm -hmm. The reaction was pretty good, so uh, it's, it's very promising. So I really hope the fans will love uh, the Vader that we bring in with a new album soon. And, uh, you know, we, we, we plan to 
come back in uh, in the beginning of uh, first we wanted to come back in the end of 2020 but so after some some talking with continental we had a plan to come back in january mm-hmm. 2021 with a new album but you know it's really hard to plan something anything just today because you right. know the situation the global situation is pretty bad and of course i'm an optimist and uh, I really believe that if we will stay disciplined and uh, we will cooperate together global and uh, stay separated, you know, they would, because that's the only way just to avoid of spreading the disease. So we can get back to real life back, you know, and in, in like four or five months, I think. Uh, but, you know, as I said, it's hard to plan now. We just, we just grounded in our houses and waiting for a situation would be clear up more. Ah, you know? uh, yeah, that, well, that's what you said right there. If everybody can discipline themselves and stay indoors, that would be the uh, best hope, but uh, hopefully that happens. Um, you might be more disciplined over there than the USA. You know, the people should understand that it's not something, it's not a game, mm-hmm. this is a real and this is, you know, uh, if we will understand it, we can just uh, uh, get back on the trail sooner you know and uh, if some people are gonna try you know the smarter then it's gonna be forever mm-hmm. you know that's why it's gonna just you know the i think the penalty is gonna be just stronger and stronger because that's the only way you know yep. the people those people who cannot understand you know they will understand the stick probably yeah, unfortunately more, <laughs> more than the word you know mm-hmm. it's true but, uh, but I, I believe that you know the humanity I, as I said, I'm an optimist, and so uh, I believe that people will understand this, you know. And uh, this is this is the first thing, you know, priority, just to understand mm-hmm. and to stay separated. You know, that's the only way to kill the virus. That's that's how it works. You know, virus attacks in the masses, and it dies natural if if there is no next victim. You know, mm-hmm. and so. Let's hope, Stay Peter. Home. It's good thing is, and uh, you know, when we started in the 80s and even 90s, we didn't have that mm. because we didn't have internet. We didn't have mobile phones. Yep. So that would be really hard just to, to stay in houses and to know what's going on around. And now, uh, something actually which I really hated, you know, uh, uh, even several months ago when I was, I always like tried to force people to get out of the houses just to a real life just to smell life not to watch them in internet but in this very moment actually i totally think in an opposite way because we should use that tool given to us like internet social media and uh, to stay separated but stay connected with the whole world with the friends you know mm-hmm. we can spread the music we can enjoy the music still you know what we like you know what makes our life still good you know you know play is bad but it doesn't mean we should to just think about the end of the world or something like that no we just should to understand the situation to follow some rules some procedures and just stay home listen to music enjoy life doesn't sound have. it doesn't sound like rocket science does it <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's you know, you know, it's not the first time humanity is hit by plague. You know, it's mm-hmm. not the last time, but right. m- probably it was it was a while since it, it happened. So that's why the new generation had nothing about that. That's why everybody, especially the young generation, is very shocked in that. It's like, how can we just be separated? Mm, uh, yeah. Uh, ironically, all those guys from the new generation, they are separated because they live online usually more than... than that's than, like, true. <laughs> that's true. So, so what are they talking about? They're home all the time anyways. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, we were a teenager. We were teenagers as well, and we know how it works. Yes. Yep. It's all opposite against the whole world, you know. If, Always. If you, if you can... You, if you're free to go, you stay home. If you have to stay home, you want to go out. Yeah. You know? So it's like that. <laughs> that is very true. So getting back to uh, Vader now, <laughs> over, over, the, over the almost 40 years, how would you say that Vader has progressed as a band? I think that question uh you should ask fans not me because like i don't even have time to get old you know there's just the easy time we acted we acted band you know for that many years and uh uh so we had like you know 
up and downs in our history and dark moments, but all in all, uh, we still uh, we still active and we still uh, have uh, like followers. We still have like new coming fans, you know, that support us. You know, that's why there is a sense to play. You know, mm-hmm. and then you know, and this is the biggest success of Vader. You know, after like you mentioned, almost four decades. That's a lot. Man, that's so many years. You know, and uh, and uh, you know, we we still. I still see the younger and younger people coming up. It's not just veterans, not those just old friends coming to our shows, and that you know brings that's pretty motivating for a person like me, you know. And uh, uh, and of course, um, I, I, I'm so happy that uh, even with that, you know, age, you know, I still can inspire and motivate fans, you know, with the music, you know, or words, you know, in the music. So. Uh, I, I really don't know. The progress is pretty natural. Mm. Of course, uh, Vader, uh, when we started first recordings in the early 90s, and now it's different, different, but the first uh, we had different people in the band, you know, mm-hmm. uh, so uh, so varying ages even, you know. J- James could be my son, you know, mm. in ages like, easily, you know, and... Uh, uh, but and uh, the other thing, the experience, you know, so many years on tour, uh, traveling, like knowing the world, the word, uh, world, <laughs> with every next year, yeah. And so uh, today, I still feel that anger. There's still so much to talk about the world around us, crazy world around us. I still got so much to scream about, but my uh, my anger is more motivated, more just. Uh, controlled this time mm. uh, compared to to a teenage Peter that was screaming just to scream, you know, and uh, uh, and of course uh, as a musicians we are more experienced, so we maybe not like old kind of like virtuosos, but it's not about that in metal actually, uh, but that helps actually to to uh, to give more, you know, and uh, we never, you know, Vader, it's not that band that that will play. Uh, just technically for technically right, play because right. we always focus more on, on the songs and the emotion than in technique but you know every tool technique is among those you know still helps just to to say more like you know so uh, all in all the music is still evolving you know progressing mm-hmm. but it all depends on what's going on around, you know, because this is the main inspiration. I know how trivial it sounds, but it actually it's true. And definitely after what this what's going on now, it's going to be <laughs> nice inspiration for some some future plans. Oh. And uh, definitely there're going to be some songs written like that. And uh, and so on, so on. You know, mm-hmm. new albums coming up, but this is just next album, and I hope that there will be still time for next one uh, and the sure. next. <laughs> well, every time Vader comes out with a new album, you know, I'm always like, how do they still do this and it will be as good as the last one and you never disappoint because for me, every new Vader album is always like, oh my god, this is like my favorite album of the year. So... <laughs> I thought you were going to say, oh, you Vader got a new album and they're still alive? <laughs> <laughs> like no, that. we are. Actually, we are and we feel good. And, uh, and uh, you know, the new album, I think it's the, the oh, best great. explanation. And, uh, and uh, you know, actually, Vader will, was always about the brutality, intensity. Mm-hmm. So I can't say if the Vader recorded ever any, like, non-heavy album. Because, but the only difference is like uh, after litany, you know, that was I, I could divide, the, 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 you know, divide the the the, uh, the time, you know, the the story, you know, of Vader into like two decades, you know, the one until litany was recorded and released, that was kind of a race for us, you know, like for speed and brutality. So we like that was just like every next album. Sub- Supposed to be faster, more brutal, more intense, you know. And litany was like a mon- like a monumentum, like a the point of change, you know. When uh, when I started to think just about like the change, because there were still like bands playing faster, right. you know, the grindcore, you know, noisecore guys. And actually, I wanted just to keep something musical still in this in this noisy grindy metal, 
Mm -hmm. Vader did. So I started to smuggle some some different feelings you know, to the music and I and the, the revelations the next album after Litany is the best, you know, uh explanation of what I mean, you know. It's like more slower songs, you know, more heavy riffs included. And uh in the next releases we added some samples as a background, you know, we use this also uh on live acting. And uh, that made the sound of Vader a bit different, but all in all, the main core of of Vader stayed the same, you know. And uh, and uh, what I'm trying to say now, after two decades of of searching for some different tastes, you know, in that one brutal, you know, metal soup, mm -hmm. and uh, I felt that hunger again, just to to get back to the speed times, you know, mm -hmm. to uh, to the roots. Uh, when Vader was like a symbol of brutality and intensity, and uh, so I, I love those short, you know, speedy, low, like, sharp songs, you know, that it's like definition of metal I always loved, you know, in the past, you know, and uh, and uh, for me that was always the definition of extremity in the music I love, you know. It so, so dude, madness is the example of that, mm -hmm. you know. And, and I was just gonna say that it's. Keeps the brutality, and James is blasting through that whole damn album. You know, it sounds great. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and how can I use such a great drummer? You know, and you know, <laughs> gotta put him to work. <laughs> that's the point, and definitely drumming is one of the strongest point of this album. You know, a drummer always is very important in bands, not just in Vader, in every uh, thrash, death metal, metal band. You know, but you know. Uh, uh, I had the pleasure and honor just to cooperate with the really good drummers, and James is like a new generation of those. And you know, actually, so uh, together with so stable lineup, the most stable in history of the band, so all together made you know the work so much progressive. You know, and we were able to record such an album, you know, with such intensity, intensity, but always, but also, and uh, we like cooperating in a studio and work. Uh, on the music, you know, so especially James gave a lot, you know, for that, you know, we work in, in England, you know, in the studio, he knows, uh, with the producer, he knows, so that made everything so much easier, and that was one of the reasons why I I choose, you know, Grindstone Studio and Scott Atkins as a producer, you know, because I knew that it's not going to be that stressful right. for James, you know, and uh, his work is priority. He starts, you know, every recording and uh, he's like a, like a spine, like a backbone of, of what's going on next. Mm -hmm. So without the drum trucks, you know, you can't create like the good album. You know? So, so first we created really good drumming and then rest, you know, so, uh, Absolutely. Uh, James did great, absolutely extraordinary work on that album, and everybody can hear it. Anyway. And now, by the time this is going to air, you will have released your second song off the album in the form of a video. So tell us a little bit about the video and the song. Your video. So we, that's, after many years, uh, we decided uh, to uh, release a video. It's not like a typical story video. It did uh for some some older albums like we didn't before like like uh, never say my name sort of the wager of those like this is more like typical a band playing mm -hmm. uh in uh, in that evil looking back like a background you know so it's more like old school style of a of a video when you can see the bands playing not the real life you know it's not like a typical life but it's like Kind of, you know, you can see, enjoy the band, not just the music of a band with some older picture. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And uh, so we had actually just one day we were we were jamming and preparing uh, for the U.S. tour, by the way. And uh, in January in Wrocław, that's a city uh, where Spider is living, and uh, we were working for the first time with Grupa 13. So these guys are very professional, and they. They got that passion, you know, to to combine music and video with great taste, by the way. So they, uh, you know, they made great uh, pictures for uh, creator, behemoth, and more. So it was a real pleasure just to work. We had just 
10 or 12 hours to work together in that cold place, you know, it was jam, <laughs> so we were almost naked, so imagine that, but, you know, as I said, again, after that many years, you can still feel passion, you know, and we had fun, you know, that much fun, you know, doing recording this <laughs> after that many years, and, uh, you know, it, it's also something like, like, step back to, to the times when a video clip was pretty important, you know, for mm-hmm. promotion. For the last years, you know, actually when metal music is not so much promoted in media, so we did not just spend that money for this, you know, and for for a really good picture, you know, for a really good video. But, you know, it came time that, you know, it, we, just to do something again, you know. So we uh, we had that chat with Nuclear Blast Office and uh, we both were just planning, you know, how to prepare the promotion and everything. So we all agreed that, like, uh, the video clip would be really nice, you know. For the first time, we also uh, released, uh, that we're gonna release, uh, three singles. You know, one was released in January, so you know that one, it's Shock and Roll, mm-hmm. it's opening track. It's pretty much definition of the whole album. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna release the video clip and the second uh, single with the song "Into Oblivion," and this is this is one I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. And then uh, right before right before release day, probably in three or four weeks, we will release a third one, uh, the last song on the album called "Bones," and. Uh, that's maybe not time to talk about that one. That's just a different song on the album compared to the rest. And uh, but into oblivion, that's uh, I already talked that uh, for some interviews. This this song is uh, about fading away and uh, some kind of philosophy when people thinking about what's going, what's going to happen after we die. You know, and uh, this is maybe more global and about uh, humanity because we like to think about the life after death who knows you know i'm not just going to argue now about like philosophy or religions or whatever this is very personal Mm -hmm. and uh, what if there's nothing you know and uh, it doesn't mean we should uh, just cry loud you know about that this is unnatural you know and this song is all about that i i used some some lines uh, uh, spoken by Rudger Hauer in the movie Blade Runner. <laughs> so you can find that between the lines, like in, in a song. That's a great one, you know. That just it 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 just brings that atmosphere even bigger, you know, for that what I'm talking about in the song, you know. And uh, uh, if you remember uh, Ray, uh, that person is. Uh, uh, the, not, not the, the the fake man, you know. Mm-hmm. I, I find that English word now at the moment. Black hole in my mind. Mm-hmm. Not a robot, of course. It's android, right? Right. Kind of. And uh, he was dying, and uh, he was talking about like what he was, what he saw in his life, you know. So beautiful things, but now everything we disappear like tears in the rain. It's so great. I love that from all my life <laughs> since I saw the first time, and I had just to put that line. And but especially after, unfortunately, Rudger how it died, you know, at the same time. So probably that quote and uh, that you know, uh, the bad you know uh, what happened and was a straight inspiration to me for that very song, you know, to write. And uh, that's the main, you know, story about that. And the song, as a song, is is pretty much brutal. It's the second one on the album. And how is it? Tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow, everybody can just well. Give it- <laughs> I was gonna say by the time this airs, it's gonna be the twenty eighth, so we can play all three of the songs on there just before you release the album. So we'll all have seen it by then, anyway. So it's safe. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> and and Peter, I know it's getting a little late now. If people want to learn more about the band and where they could pick up merchandise and see what you guys got going on while you're all cooped up, what are the best websites they can go to? So we still, uh, you know, I, I think Facebook is still a main source of information. We always, we always, phew, <laughs> always, and also I still mix those two words. What's wrong with me? <laughs> okay. Uh, 
Okay, uh, and uh, uh, VaderNews.pl, that's the other one. I'm it's maybe not, ref it's not maybe uh, refreshed every uh, every weekend, but maybe I will do it more often. I'm actually trying to put something different on that on that side. And also uh, VaderStore.com or VaderStore.pl, that's the official Vader store, so you can find nice gadgets, nice things on that one. So everybody, everybody is pretty much welcome in that. So as far as post and uh, and uh, uh, UPS is working, so <laughs> so we can still uh, uh, order and just have some nice thing <laughs> until Vader will show up. There you go. As soon as possible. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what we're hoping for too, Peter. So there you guys have it. Our beloved Vader has a new album, Solitude and Madness, coming out May 1st on Nuclear Blast Records. And Peter, thank you for taking the time to do this interview with us. And all the best to you and the band. Same to you and to everybody. And to everybody. So that was a pleasure. Thank you.